right, so Prostate Cancer Awareness Month is September. And we know that everybody, every man needs to listen up right now, but especially black men. Why is that? Well, black men need to listen up because they are 2 to 2.5 times more likely to die from prostate cancer compared to their counterparts. And prostate cancer is the second most common cause of cancer in, in men. It's also the second reason why men die from cancer, secondary to lung cancer. Hmm. So here at Mississippi, we have the second highest cancer mortality in the nation. And that's important, Kayla, because we're in a state that has the lowest life expectancy compared to all other states, and we have the highest amount of preventable deaths. And prostate cancer is a preventable disease. Gotcha. And we're looking at a survivor right now this morning. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. Thank you for asking, <laughs> Kayla, and thank you for having us. No problem. So tell me a little bit about your journey. What happened? How did you find out? What was going on? Well, in 1996, my dad died with stage four prostate cancer. Mm. I was 42 years old at the time, and my mom told me that I needed to start screening. And when I was coming up, when mama said something, you did it. Mm -hmm. So I started screening uh, each year. In 2012, the economy took a nosedive, and my business was failing, and I didn't go and take a PSA test. Mm. 2013, I didn't go. I was struggling, trying to keep afloat. But in 2014, when my business fell and collapsed, I went, ran to my doctor. Mm -hmm. And when I got there, instead of my PSA score being four and below, it was a nine, double. So immediately he set me up an appointment with a urologist, and I went there, and my PSA had risen to about 12.9, and mm. uh, my, net, my uh, insurance network uh, changed, and I had to go to another doctor. It took me four months to get there. Wow. And uh, when I got there, my PSA score was 35. And uh, anyway, they did a biopsy, and they came up with stage three aggressive prostate cancer. Mm. But I was fortunate that when they did the CT scan, they couldn't find any cancer outside of my body, uh, none in my bones. They said, Mr. Knight, you're a healthy 60-year-old black man. All you need is for us to remove your prostate, and you'll be good. So we said, well, do it. <laughs> they, they did it, and praise God, I was good. But they recommended that I do uh, 32 rounds of radiation. And while I was doing the radiation, I started in the uh, waiting room, I started reading the material that they had. And the more I read, the more comfortable that I got. And I talked to the technicians back then. I told them I wanted to form a prostate cancer support group. Awesome. They, took, they took my, they said, Mr. Knight, can, can I call somebody and, uh, and give them your number? And I said, sure. So they called him uh, American Cancer Society and uh, gave him my number. And they called me the next day and they said, Mr. Knight, we heard that you're going to do a prostate cancer support group down there. Say, so, uh, we think that's great. And that's all I needed to hear. And now here we are in 2024, and you guys are partnering together. Yes. What events are coming up soon, and where do people need to go right now to get themselves together? So, yes, we're thankful for the partnership with the Mississippi State Department of Health, led by Dr. Edney, where our mission is to protect, advance, and promote the safety and well-being of every Mississippian. Every man, every man is at risk for prostate cancer. This partnership is with Prostate Health Education Network and You Are Not Alone Foundation. And there's an upcoming event Saturday at LaFleur's Bluff. Mm -hmm. That's going to uh, be an awesome event where people can come out and get free health screenings. Uh, they can come and get free food and hear from awesome survivors so other people can know that, hey, just, just because you may have prostate cancer doesn't mean prostate cancer has to have you. That's a word. I dig it. I'm sorry that you know I'm always there. I love the mm -hmm. bars every time. So now also there's something happening that y'all want people to do at church on Sunday. Can you tell me about that? Yes. Um, we're asking that all churches uh, have someone to speak about prostate cancer awareness. Just a few minutes. And also we're asking that everybody wear blue, which is symbolic for prostate cancer awareness. And that's about it. Just a few minutes and mm -hmm. go right on to your uh, 
Sunday worshiping. All right. So awesome. worship and talk about prostate cancer. Get everybody that you know this information because it really is necessary. And it's great that you guys are partnering together to get it out there for the rest of yeah, the world. Yeah, and I think, you know, and, you know, Kayla, we just need every man to know that this is preventable. The five-year survival rate for prostate cancer is over 97 percent. That's better than most cancers. And, you know, men ask, hey, well, what symptoms will I have? Well, you could have, you know, trouble urinating. You could have blood in urine. But most men don't have any symptoms at all. So a lot of men don't go to the doctor unless they got a problem. But this is something that's correctable. This is something that's preventable. And men say, well, look, I don't want to get that finger exam. You know, I don't want to get stuck. Listen, we would rather you be uncomfortable mm -hmm. in a doctor's office for one minute than to be comfortable in the grave for a lifetime. <laughs>